Hi, this is vlog number three. Tonight I am cooking dinner. I was looking through Google and I decided that I wanted to make African dishes mainly because I've never really tasted any. So I decided that this would be the perfect opportunity to make my own. And I came across this recipe called, and correct me viewers if I'm saying this right, it's called Baboti. It's spelled B-A-B-O-T-I-E. It's supposed to be this curry meatloaf, and I love curry, and I love meatloaf, so what better way to combine them is within this particular dish that is similar to both foods that I just mentioned. So here's the recipe. So this is baboti. Um, it has a lot of, in well, not a lot, but it has a couple of ingredients that I don't think I'll be able to find in supermarkets here in the high desert. Specifically, probably the chutney and slivered almonds. I'm going to have to substitute that with, I guess, chopped almonds instead. And I'm going to have to use extra cayenne pepper to substitute this spiciness that I think is what chutney is. So let's write this down. So the things that I need on my list are ground beef, half cup of raisins, the apricot jam, the chutney, and that's pretty much it. So let's go to Stater Brothers. So I was able to get apricot jam, the sultanas, and the beef. I, for the life of me, could not find any chutney. So we'll just have to make do or substitute it with something else. Yay, I actually found it this time. It was hiding in the condiments aisle. So yay, I was able to get everything I needed. And that's it for prep. <laughs> now that everything is prepped, it's time to cook. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And pre preheat 350 and start. Okay, uh, the beef is fully cooked. So next on the list is... So it's all stirred in. Then I have to pour the mixture into the prepared baking dish. While the babo tea bakes, whisk together the reserved milk, an egg, and a pinch of salt.
This is what the finished bobo tea looks like.